Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to make the uh, zooming in effect, like in um, Star Wars, I think, when they go into uh, light speed. Uh, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So, uh, file new, 640 uh, by 480. Alright, and uh, first what we're going to do is uh, fill the, uh, go uh, filters, render, clouds, plasma. And this is the basic thing that you do. And uh, click new seed a couple of times until you get a effect that you're satisfied with. I think that's pretty good. And turbulence all the way up. And then click OK. And uh, uh, you'll end up with an image sort of like this. Then you're going to go to colors, desaturate, and you're going to click luminosity and click OK. And it actually kind of looks like a boulder with moss. Uh, I just think it looks like that. Alright, so uh, now you're going to go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur, and uh, you're going to click Zoom, and it's already 320, and you're going to put this to 60, and click OK. And this may take a while. Okay, so it's, so it's uh, finished blurring. And um, now what you're going to do is make a new layer, and it can be transparency, whatever you want, and then fill it in with black. Then you're going to go to Filters, Noise, HSV Noise. And you're going to turn uh, the wholeness up and the value up like that. Well, maybe like that. And then turn up the wholeness. Uh, turn down the holdness, sorry, and turn up the saturation. Uh, 3, 323, 193 is pretty good. And click OK. And then you're going to put the mode on screen. Now what you're going to do is, uh, this part is optional. You're going to write in some text, and you're going to write starlight. Alright, uh, and I'm going to use the font sans bold, which I think, sorry. I think a lot of almost every computer has this font. It's a pretty universal font. And uh let's put this uh down here. And um put it below the uh uh HSV noise, the stars, because that way you can see the stars on top of the lights and that looks pretty cool. You're going to go to filters, distorts, uh, curve bend and you're going to just move and uh, play with these and click automatic preview until it gets the effect that uh, it's kind of getting sucked in. So I guess kind of like that. And then click OK and it might take a while depending on how much you messed it up alright and um, now we're just going to um, make a new layer on top of everything and uh, you're gonna make a custom gradient and you're gonna choose this blue uh, 080 OFF and uh, yellowish uh, like this D four A F one nine and those are the HTML notations. And uh you're just gonna stroke down a gradient on the new layer. And you're gonna put that to overlay. And uh that is the effect. Um you can add this filters uh light and shadow gradient flare and you can use um distant sun and put this uh actually on a new layer um below everything except the background <laughs> except for the zoom effect and go filters light and shadow gradient flare and use distant sun and click okay it doesn't mar matter where you put it because you can just adjust it ah sorry you have to put the arrow on move active layer because there's all these little dots and you can't really tell. Alright, so you have the um, uh, distant sun layer uh, selected and you move it to the center and it gives a nice effect.
And that is how you do the zoom effect. Thank you for watching.